Sol from the Mel Sol Golf School at Tupelo Bay Golf Center in Murrells Inlet, South Carolina. And uh, we have one of the lovely golf carts here. And today is Friday. So what is Friday? Friday is Fitness Friday. So here we talk about what you can do to improve your power, improve your endurance, improve your flexibility. And of course, if you do those things, you're gonna improve your golf swing. So this one is aimed specifically at golfers who rush to the golf course, put their clubs on a cart, rush to the first tee, and then they try and do a couple of little quick stretches and off they go. This is an asset for you, the golf cart. Use the golf cart as a way to stretch. While you're waiting for the group in front to get out of the way, you want to stretch. The muscles that are important are here in your neck because that takes the backswing. If these muscles are tight, you're not gonna get a good shoulder turn. Your back muscles in here, your calf muscles and your thigh muscles. You know, if the calf muscle and that, your legs are tight, your legs are not gonna work. You're gonna start swinging with your arms. So loosening these things up, this is a perfect way. So the first stretch would be just to hold on to the golf cart and do a nice deep stretch doing it slowly making sure and i'm feeling it all in my back i can add from here a little twist put my head under there like that that's going to stretch my left side i can go this way put my head under stretch my right side i'm getting a good stretch in there i can take my foot put it on the cart and gently press down. That's gonna stretch my calf muscle really well. I can hold that for a few seconds, relax, push again, hold for a few seconds. Do that with both feet, that's gonna loosen up there. Here I can again do it sideways like this. I can get a nice stretch in my lats like that. Just holding it, letting it stretch out. Breathe in all of these exercises, breathe. Oxygen helps the muscles relax and expand. So when you're here, don't hold your breath. Each time, I can go a little bit further, go to the other side of the cart, do the other side as well. Those are just a few of the exercises that you can do to help loosen you up. Last week I spoke about using the orange whip. I would use that if I have it in my golf bag and I certainly keep my orange whip in my golf bag the whole time. It's there 24 seven. So after I've done these stretches, then I would do my orange whip just before I teed off. I would now at least, if I haven't had time to hit balls, I'd be ready for some action.